Hi friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another Java Swing video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the Java Swing grid layout. Grid layout is a Java Swing layout manager class that lays out its components in a rectangular grid. The container, which is usually a JFrame or a J panel that is managed by the grid layout class, is divided into equally sized rectangles with one component in each rectangle. Let's take a look at an example. As usual, I've already set up a project with our standard starting point with our launcher and our mainframe class. I've created a shell of a J frame, and in that J frame, I'm going to create and add a J panel, which will be managed by our grid layout manager class. Let's create a new J panel. And as an argument to the J panel constructor, we're going to specify the layout manager, which is a grid layout. So we'll create a new grid layout. Now the default grid layout constructor creates a grid layout with a single row and as many columns as are necessary to contain all of the components that we wish to add. So let's create some components and add those to the J panel. And I'm going to do that in a loop. We'll create some J buttons. The text on the button will be the word button plus our integer loop value, which is whatever the value of i happens to be at the time this button is created. And since that's an integer, we actually have to convert that to a string value to add it to our button text. Then we'll add the button to the panel. And now we'll add the panel to the frame. And if you recall, the default layout manager for a frame is a border layout. And when we're adding a component to the border layout, if we don't specify an area of the border layout, it's automatically added to the center section of the border layout, which is what's going to happen here since we haven't specified where in the border layout we want to add the panel. So let's run that and see what it looks like. We should have a single row of five buttons and that is exactly what we have. If we resize, we'll see that the buttons also resize and that is the default for the center area of the border layout in that it will resize or get larger or smaller to take up all of the space that's not used by the north, south, east, or west sections of the border layout. So that's the default constructor for the grid layout. Let's look at the other option that we're going to examine in this video for creating a grid layout, and that's the option that allows us to specify the number of rows and the number of columns, as well as the horizontal and vertical gap between sections in the grid layout. So let's specify four rows, five columns, and a horizontal and vertical gap of 10 pixels. And then let's change the number of buttons that we're going to create to populate our new grid layout to 20. The 4x5 will give us 20 different rectangular areas to add components. So let's fill those up. And now that we've made those changes, let's run the program. And you see that we do indeed get four rows, five columns, with a horizontal and vertical gap of 10 pixels could change that to be five rows, four columns, and there's the resulting layout, five by four. And two other options that we have is we can make the number of rows or the number of columns zero. And what that will do is, for example, if we were to make the number of rows zero, 
the number of columns four and let's probably let's make that 30 run the program you'll see now that we have four columns the number of rows that are created are enough rows to add all of the components that we want to add to the grid layout same thing for the number of columns if we were to set five rows specify zero as the number of columns then the number of columns will be based on the number of components that we want to add to our grid layout we should get six columns and that is indeed what we have thanks for hanging out with me again today i really appreciate it if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss any new content when i publish new videos I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, be safe and keep on coding.